Hey guys, it's me, Carrie, and this is a very different type of video for me because I'm actually plug, plug, plug in something for a dear friend of mine that I think so many of you could benefit from. I know I certainly have. If you are not familiar with the show Friends, you need to return to what planet you originated from because everyone on the planet Earth knows Friends. And I only mention this first because I think that Friends is probably how most of you would be familiar with my dear friend Jane Sibbett. She played the character of Carol, Ross's ex-wife and the mother of his child and she's done so much acting both before and since and most of you probably would know her for her acting roles. However, to me, Jane is just my heart sister, one of my dearest friends, someone that I've had the great good fortune of having come into my life through whatever divine forces brought her in, but I love her with all my heart and she has found a new I guess calling is a great word for it. She does continue to act as well, but one of the biggest, most important parts of Jane's life, obviously outside of her friends and family, family first, friends second, um, is this wonderful, incredible, unique experience called Jane's Dancing Hands. And I cannot tell the story nearly as well as Jane herself can, so my first tip after you watch this video is to just go to janesdancinghands.com. I will post all the links for Jane's website, her Facebook page, her social media in the drop box below. But you guys, Jane's Dancing Hands is really just such a unique experience. Jane feels source energy, energy from a higher power. She doesn't like to put specific labels on it other than to say source. Granted her this extraordinary gift and through the movements of her hands, through the sounds that she utters, some legible words, mostly not. It almost sounds as if she's speaking in tongues. I'm not quite sure how to describe it. She's able to just enhance the lives of those around her. She doesn't claim to be any sort of a healer. She doesn't make any specific claims that if you come to her, you know, with an injury or, you know, a disease that she's going to heal you by any means. She makes no claims of that, although some people have found that certain illnesses or ailments or injuries they've suffered from have, um, the conditions have improved after attending a Jane's Dancing Hand session, but she makes no promises about anything. I am quite a skeptic by nature, so the whole concept of this was like kooky blocky, you know, I don't, I don't get this, this is not the way my mind thinks. I'm very much about empirical evidence, prove it to me, I'll believe it when I see it, and I want to see concrete proof. But I have attended a Jane's Dancing Hand session in person, Gosh, I think it was two years ago, September, in Central Park. It was the first time Jane and I met in person. It was such a beautiful, wonderful, incredible experience. We met in Strawberry Fields in Central Park, which where could you have a more magical experience than that? But it was just such a wonderful moment, not only to get to meet my friend and hug her in person, but to experience the power of Jane's dancing hands. And some people feel incredible results. They feel rejuvenated. They feel emotionally empowered. They feel sometimes physically better. But again, no guarantees. She makes no claims as to how you're going to feel. Some people go and they feel absolutely nothing. There have been instances where I've taken part in uh, what she calls Quanta sessions that she hosts online where I've come out of it and not felt anything in particular. There have been times that I've come out and felt empowered. There have been times that I've come out and felt emotionally stronger, more clear-headed. It really varies depending on the person. So, I mean, basically, if you have an open mind, you have a free afternoon on, and I'm reading this off my iPad, so forgive me if I look off to the side, on June 9th, Saturday, June 9th, so coming up in a couple weeks, a week from Saturday, from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., and you were in the New York Tri-State area, Jane is going to be doing a rare New York City Jane's Dancing Hand session. She is West Coast based, she lives in California, so she doesn't get out here to New York too often. I haven't seen Jane but once since our initial meeting, and I miss her like crazy, so, 
part of my motivation of wanting to attend this session is just getting to see and hug my friend again. But honestly, if you have, like I said, an open mind, an open heart, you, you were, that's really all you need. This is not anything where you have to dance. Some people move with Jane, some people don't. She does parts where there is music. She does parts where the music is simply what comes out of her own vocalizations. But it's just a really unique experience. And again, if you have an open mind and an open heart, you've got nothing to lose. It's a wonderful way to spend an afternoon. And hell, if nothing else, you get to say hi to the awesome chick from Friends. I mean, where can you go wrong there? So just to give you the full scoop as, as, as far as what I know, if you are to... If you are planning to attend the events, the cost is $35 if you purchase your tickets in advance. And there is a link on her page. If you go to Facebook, you can actually just type in the words Jane's, J-A-N-E apostrophe S, Dancing Hands. You can get the link to her page and there will be a link on there. You can go to the Dropbox that says events. I will post a direct link to the event page as well in the Dropbox if that makes it easier for you guys. On that page, there will be a link where you can purchase your tickets. If you buy them at the door, I believe they will be $40, but it's a three hour session, which is really, really cool. I am definitely, my every intention is to attend. Um, did I say attention or intention? I meant to say intention, but I might not have because I'm blonde and sometimes I go dee 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 and my brain goes out the window. But this particular session will be in the Lower East Side of New York City. It is at the IATI, or that may be pronounced IATI. It's all in caps though, so I'm assuming it's IATI Theater. The address is going to be 64 East 4th Street in New York City. And again, um, my only hesitation in going is that my husband and my mom have to work that day. And generally when I make solo trips to New York City, cause I live on Long Island. So you're talking about round trip on the Long Island Railroad and the expense. And then obviously finding my way from Penn Station, which is around 34th Street all the way down to 4th and then taking a left. And I don't know how many blocks that will be. Um, I don't really like to take cabs. I know nothing about the subway. I'm scared out of my mind. So I will be walking to this event more than likely, but I really, if I can overcome my fear of the traveling, that's really the only thing that makes me hesitate in any way, shape or form to say that I'm definitely going to be there. But my intention is absolutely to be there. So if meeting me is any type of a perk for you, which I'm sure it is for exactly no one, but you'll get to meet me too, more than likely. But Jane is just such an extraordinary person. She's such a dear friend. I'm gonna take a little sip of my Eeyore cup here, my little water. Like I said, if you've got the afternoon free, um, I'm, I'm assuming on a Saturday in June, hopefully it'll be a beautiful day in New York City. So even if you are intending to walk from Grand Central or from Penn Station, well, Grand Central is a bit more of a hike. If you're comfortable with subways and public transportation buses, more power to you. I wish I was, but I'm not. So that's why I tend to hang mostly towards Midtown Manhattan when I go to the city. But... Um, it's a really cool part. I mean, the Lower East Side is so artsy. And Jane actually mentioned to me, because she did her previous dancing hand session last year at the same theater, that this is actually the theater where they workshopped Hamilton before it went to Broadway. So if you're a theater buff, that alone would be a pretty cool reason to attend, because you get to hang out in a place where theatrical history was legitimately made. And I'm sure that there's probably going to be some pretty awesome vibes in that building even before the dancing begins. But again, you don't have to have any dance experience at all. You don't have to move at all. You can literally stand in the circle, sit in the circle. Jane will, you know, give you full instructions that day as to, you know, what you do, which really basically is just kind of hang out in your spot, you know, and she does the work and you get to feel all the good feels. So, I mean, if it's something that sounds even remotely interesting to you, again, I highly suggest that you Google, you know, well, not Google, but go to the, the, the links I'm going to post in the Dropbox below. Again, it's janesdancinghands.com, I believe is her main website, but she's got a social media presence um, on Facebook, on Instagram. Um, the best way to reach her will be through the email address that is on the Jane's Dancing Hands website. Um, I'm 
saying this off the top of my head, I could be misquoting, but I believe it's angel at janesdancinghands.com is how you can reach her or her wonderful right-hand woman, Susie, if you have any specific questions you want to ask about the event. Or, of course, you can also post them on the Jane's Dancing Hands Facebook page. She's very interactive. She will, you know, she monitors the page carefully. So if you have questions you want to ask, you know, you can just say, hey, I saw Carrie's video. What's the dealio? And, you know, she would be more than happy to give you a further, much more in-depth explanation than I'm doing because I can't really even begin to describe what the experience is like until you hear her story. And it's best to hear it in her own words. And again, if you go to the Jane's Dancing Hands website, you can click on the link where she'll tell you how this, you know, incredible gift fell into her hands, literally fell into her hands and exists to this day in her hands. It's really kind of a beautiful, amazing story. And like I said, if nothing else, and you want to come meet the awesome chick from Friends, you're going to be able to get to do that and have a really, really awesome experience because even just spending three hours with Jane is definitely going to enhance your life. I can promise you that without a doubt because she is just one of the coolest most warm selfless loving compassionate human beings i've ever had the good fortune to know and the fact that i get to call her my friend i thank my lucky stars every day for that it's truly a privilege and i just love her to pieces so definitely 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 check the links in the drop box below if you have any questions for me i will answer them as best i can you can just comment down below your best bet obviously is to ask them of jane personally and again you can reach her i'm almost certain angel at janesdancinghands.com is the email address but i will post the correct one if i'm incorrect and misspeaking that in the drop box as well as the link to jane's dancing hands website and the facebook page and you will be able to ask any questions that you have. And I am sure that Susie or Jane will get back to you as soon as humanly possible. Jane's daughter, her youngest daughter, Violet, just graduated from high school yesterday. So they may very well be partying it up and celebrating. So give her a little bit of time. This could be a busy weekend coming up and everything. But um, just you know, ask away, ask away, you know, you have nothing to lose and all kinds of wonderful, you know, things to gain. So thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. And again, you know, if you want to meet me, I mean, I'm sure that's not a big thrill for anybody, but if you're a fan of this channel, I am definitely intending to be there. I'm like 99 point, we'll say, four because four is my favorite number we'll say i'm 99.4 percent sure that i will be attending and if for any reason i am not going to be i will definitely try to give you guys a heads up but like i said me being there is the least of the exciting parts <laughs> just getting to hang with jane and experience the the power the magic the whatever you want to whatever label you want to call put on her gift um yeah, that that will be that will be the the treasure of this experience for you as I know it will be for me and plus I get to hug my friends and that's always a good thing so anyway thank you for watching guys I will stop the babbling as soon as I edit this video I will put all the links in the dropbox so please again comment down below if you have any questions for me I will answer them best that I can I am not in any way shape or form affiliated with Jane's Dancing Hands I do not represent you know her business I'm just simply a friend recommending this event because I love her and because it's amazing. So I, but I will answer any questions that I can possibly answer. But again, best bet directs them to angel at janesdancinghands.com or go to the Facebook page, which I will post in the Dropbox and ask away and feel free to tag Jane's Dancing Hands in your questions so that Jane will definitely see it or Susie will see it. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. I love you all so, so much. It is a gorgeous day today. I'm sorry if I'm a bit nasal because it's really bad allergies, but I'm loving being outdoors today. So yeah, thanks for watching. And if you come to the event, definitely say hi. I mean, I'm sure we'll all introduce ourselves at least with first names and you'll recognize me if you happen to come. So, yeah, <laughs> it'd be fun to meet you guys if you do come to the event. I hope that you do. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I'll be back soon, as always, with more stuff. Bye, guys.